Water Tower is only chimps. I tried this before and failed on Frozen Over, but somebody recently on Reddit showed that I can beat it on Cubism, basically by spamming subs and having one boat. So we're gonna do it, and let's go. Sub over here, and we'll play. So the reason why I'm not putting it left over here is because I want space for a boat. I think the reason why you want a boat here is for the range. Like, if you get a 2-0-2, you're going to allow your uh, intel subs to attack balloons at the entrance. So you got to make space for, like, a big range sub here, or a big range boat. But hey, uh, we're playing this on 8.0, and the person that beat this did it in 7.0. And little did you know, the sub actually got a mini buff in 8.0. The sub commander, it now allows it to affect itself, which is good. Also, I think the uh, ballistic missile. On the preemptive, it now shoots every 0.5 seconds, which it's not really that strong. So I'm not sure how OP it is. Anyways, we're gonna leak here. So you know what I'm gonna do? Drop a sub at the very back. Because this strategy is gonna be very, very, very sub heavy. We're absolutely gonna need preemptive uh, in this game mode, or for this challenge. The reason is because DTs. You can't really spam enough uh, Zoo 2 4 subs in the radius for it to work that way. No villagers either. This is a purely Water Towers only challenge. Nothing else. So we're getting a boat here. You see the boat can kind of reach here. So that's why you want it, or you need it. Am I going for a nuclear sub? Yes indeed. The nuclear sub is going to help uh, uncamo the DTs. So the role of the preemptive of this challenge, it's to take down all the DTs. But we need something for the camo rams. that's what the reactor is for. So, I guess I'll just start it. This guy to intel. We're basically gonna spam an army of 203 subs down here. And I guess we'll end off with like a sub commander, probably in the middle. But yeah, surprisingly, this challenge, you actually don't need a high level boat. Wanna get a pirate lord? Because there's too many DTs on 99 or 95 that the pirate lord is not gonna help. The pirate lord could probably poke in two DTs max. If you want a boat strategy to work, you're gonna need like 30 boats. 30 boat abilities, so yeah, not worth it. So, uh, let's next round. And how are we gonna pop that? Probably with a Hotshots, or a Reactor, no, we can't afford it. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go for the Hotshot then. So the Flagship does actually buff Water Towers too, but I think it's not worth it. Because we're gonna need to get the Sub Commander and the Preemptive, and after that, I'm not even sure if we have enough money for the Carrier Flagship. Like, those two are, are a must. Number one, Sub Commander, and then number two, Preemptive. Otherwise, there's no way you can pop DTs. Like, as much as I, like, hate on the preemptive, because I, I I really don't like the upgrade, I don't think it's worth it. I think it's too expensive. It doesn't do enough. But just for the purpose of this challenge, it's the one time where if we don't use it, then we lose. Let's get a sub armory up real quick. We'll spam as many 203s as we can. I don't know if it's worth getting 204s over 203s. Like, I know the 204 got a buff, but I'm not sure if it's enough. Not sure if it's enough to make me buy this upgrade over getting another 203. Because it's very expensive, 3,000 bucks. Alright, so when do we go for our sub commander? Now? I'm gonna try. We got 6 subs right now. In a very, very, very oddly satisfying triangle formation. Like, isn't it just satisfying seeing them attack in unison? Angled in unison? Beautiful, isn't it? And I just ruined it with a tier 4 upgrade. Great. So Sub Commander is 27k. We'll try to save up for it right now. Not sure if we'll beat 63 without getting Sub Commander, but I'm gonna see if I can afford it if I save up right now. Yeah, we're 4k short, damn it. So I don't know if this loadout is gonna be 63. If not, I guess I'm just gonna spam more. More 203s. Let's buy the mid round, mid round. Because I'm pretty sure right now 6 subs are nowhere near enough, so we'll just slowly buy. 203s as the round goes on, and we'll see if that will make us beat this round, or whether we gotta restart. So 8 subs looks like enough to beat uh, this round. It's just these leads are really annoying in the way, cop blocking us. But I think with 8 subs, even without commander, it should be enough to take care of, uh, is it? Hold on. Did I speak a little too soon here? Nah, we're fine, we're fine. Come on, Lead Balloon, stop cop blocking. Stop. This might be really close here. Yeah, okay. Last bend, last bend. But we're alive. And hopefully now we can go for a sub commander. A little bit of roadblock there. So, sub commander, let's get it. So, with the new buff, the sub commander does attack twice as fast. It also now buffs itself, so 
yeah, you should see this guy get a lot more pops than its uh, fellow fellow commanders right beside it, but we'll see. Alrighty, it's actually got more than every other though. You see it's got 29k. All the other ones aren't even close. But yeah, next up, uh, Preemptive. Should we go for that now? I'm gonna try. We're also gonna put the Preemptive in radius of the sub commander. Just so that like we can buff the Ballistic Missile as well. I don't know if it makes a big difference, but eh. I mean, why not? We still got lots of space to put uh, subs into. So first strike, let's get it right now. And here's where issue lays. Preemptive is so damn expensive, 43,200. It pains me to see how much money it costs to buy it. I kind of do wish they would lower the price of this guy, just to make it a little more viable. The thing with the first strike, you could use it to beat DTs, but it's not a whole lot. It's only a tiny radius, so at most, you're probably going to get like 3-4 DTs popped. Not too reliable of a uh, DDT pump power method. How do I plan to beat 99? Well, Preemptive is going to weaken the DTs, but then we're going to need the first strike again, so... It's going to require a couple first strikes and some good micro, good timing. I honestly feel like I want to go for a Kira flagship, but it might be a little too late. Like, we're going to be able to afford our preemptive, I think, after this round. Each ZMG gives us, like, uh, 1k cash. Three more ZMGs should give us enough for the end of this. But at the same time, I kind of want to get uh, more commanders. Because 98 is going to be an issue, for sure. You got to rely on the subs to deal with the Serams inside. Alright, 43.6, and there we go, preemptive. So now DTs are covered except for 90, uh, 99. And now the next round to look out for, in terms of uh, toughness, is 98. So we got options, we got options. We could go for a Kira flagship, which is going to boost the attack speed of all our subs here. So that's nice, but I don't know if it's worth spending 30k on it, or whether or not it's better going for, well, going for more subs on the sub commander, because right now, we only have like 8 subs and half the water filled up. Could definitely add like eight more subs for the price of uh, a Kira flagship, and I don't know if like the Kira flagship is strong enough. And we're talking about like without Alchemist, so 90 preemptive should make quick work of uh, DTs. You should barely even see them on the map. Yep, and there they go, instantly one shots. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards getting boats or sorry subs, not a flagship. I think flagship is a little, is a little too expensive for how much money we have right now, especially since late game chimps. I'm thinking we're going to spam the radius with 203 subs, and when we run out of space under the sub commander, then we're just going to upgrade to 204, because that's our only option at that point. And also a first strike, keep that in mind, because one first strike is not enough to beat 99. I'm pretty sure you need at least two, maybe even three, but I think two is enough. So 94, I think we better get to getting uh, subs, eh? You see these moons are getting further and further each round. There's still a lot of zoom Gs here that I'm not sure we have enough subs to handle, so... Let's slowly add some 2 zero threes as we go. So one of the few rounds where preemptive is useful, makes quick work of 95. In fact, like, really easy work. Only thing you gotta deal with this round is super scrams, and... Well, that's pretty easy with all the subs we got right now. So 95 easy. Alright, and 96, pretty damn easy. 98's gonna be a little bit of an issue, but I don't think it should be too hard. We just need to get another first strike for 99, so I'm gonna do that right now. Gonna keep it in range of the commander, just for bonus damage on the ballistic missile. So, and I think that should be enough for 99. It's still gonna be tricky though, because we gotta time our first strikes perfectly. If only we had a shattering shells, that would make things a lot easier here, but nah, we don't have any. Don't have any. We have first strikes, but I gotta save them for next round. I can't afford to use it right now. Or I could. Like, if I have it right now, I could get it back by the end of 98, but I don't want to risk it. At least not right now. That's a lot of Serams, that's really scary. Not gonna lie. The good thing is that the Serams, like, once you get here, they get shredded. Shredded like shredded wheats. But yeah, it's still really scary and really laggy. Alright, these Serams here are getting really far, I don't know. These guys are still Moabs, no. This ain't gonna do, I don't think. They're getting further and further as we speak, and... Yeah, that's not gonna... Kind of close, but at the same time, let's spend our AK. So we have enough for one sub to 203 and 201. And I guess we'll upgrade this guy uh, mid-round. But yeah, uh, first strike. We'll just use it at the very start. I guess it'll help a little bit, giving us a little bit of cash as well. 
Another trip guns. So we're doing 11 last time, that's for sure. But that's a long wave of mobs, which is really scary. Don't know if you have enough firepower for that, but let's see. We still got a preemptive and our first strike shooting on first. And the cooldown of our first strikes come right off for 99, very good. And now they start turning the bend, but I think we got it under control, don't we? Yeah. That's definitely manageable. Definitely. Let's hope I didn't speak too soon, though. Come on. Just a few more past the bend here, but that's really dense. That is actually really dense. Holy shit. That is so clumped, though. I don't know, I don't know. Are you kidding me, man? We beat 98 except for the very, very end. The very tail end of that. I guess we'll buy some stuff mid-round. I mean, we still got 7k to spare. So we pretty much used all our real estate uh, for the sub commander. Look at all those subs, guys. Got a nice little sub army, so we were gonna get an extra sub compared to last last run. And, well, hopefully that's enough. We will use the first strikes immediately, two of them. Enough to buy another 203. And yeah, we'll buy another 203 mid-round. Trip guns, we're about 300 off. And afford now. And we're gonna stop spending. So, how are we doing this time? I think that's a much less dense clump than before. You see, none of these balloons here are fortified. Which is really good. And yeah, that's gonna be 98, okay. In time for 99 with about 3k, 4k to spare. First strike or preemptive is not gonna one-shot this round. We're gonna put these guys on strong. Not that it matters, but yeah. We gotta time our first strikes really, really carefully this round. So, you see they're not quite dead yet. Let's try one now. How many DTs does it get? Oh, that's bad, that's bad. It only got like one DT. That's terrible. Actually, there's like five left, come on. Um, let me use the first strike here. That's good. And, okay, okay, never mind. That was a lot easier than I thought it was, holy crap. Well, for some reason, something, something in this like tower loadout was doing damage to it. Thanks for helping out whoever it was, whatever it was. And now we have one bad left. I guess we'll just wait for the first strike to come off, cooldown, and that's it. That's going to beat uh, this challenge. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's DTs. There are DTs that come out of this bad. So we gotta first strike that too. Keep that in mind. So we're gonna use one first strike to pop the bat, I think. And then one more for the DTs inside. How does that sound? Hell, we've been buying Zuti for for good measures. So, one and two. Oh, oh never mind. Okay. You don't even see the DTs. I guess they got popped alongside the bad. I will gladly take that. And just a few more zooms just to go through. And BFBs. And that's gonna be it, guys. Water Tower is only chimps, which is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. And a Zoo 2 village as our instant. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, GG. 